Hi everyone! Today we're going to be looking at how to create your first Scratch project. So you, first of all, you're going to click on Create. And this is your screen. Down the left you've got all your blocks. You've got your coloured menu which will take you to the different uh, groups of blocks that go with each menu. This is your coding space. You've got your stage where Scratch is. And over here we can put a backdrop on the stage. This is where you would go to choose your backdrop. This is where you would go to choose a sprite. This is the only sprite we have so far. We're just going to stick with Scratchy just for now. If I want to change the name of Sprite 1, I just click in the Sprite field and type in Scratchy. Then we've got his position X and Y, that is uh, the coordinates of the stage. So we have X going across, we have Y going up. And at the moment, Scratch is in the center of the stage. If I change this to 100, and I change Y to 100, you can see that he moves across for X and up and down for Y. Size will change the size relative to what he is now. So at the moment, Scratchy is 100, 100%. If I change that to 50%, he will go to half the current size. If I make it 150%, he'll go to half of as big again as he was originally. We're going to make that 100. Direction is the way that the sprite is facing. So it doesn't flip it, it rotates it. So we're just going to leave it on there. And this one here will allow you to show or hide your sprite when you start the program. First thing we can do is add a backdrop to our stage. I can also click and drag my sprite make him look like he's walking and that's how you modify your first project now to save my project at the moment it's untitled 79 I'm going to call this my first project now to make it visible to anybody I would click on share I can also see the project page this is what people will see if they come to my my studios I forgot to click on save so by clicking out of the field I save it instructions this is notes and credits you would put if you've used someone else's project to remix it you might credit that person or that user uh, if you use a book, you might credit the book. Instructions will have the instructions for the game once we've finished. Now to click on share, if I do that, everybody will be able to see it. So for now, I'm just going to keep it private. I'll see you next time.